with nation what's going on in today's video i'll be giving you a short video on how to defend against my corner trick i can't tell you how to defend against every single corner because that's virtually impossible and eventually some has to score so i'm not going to bs you and tell you that oh this is going to work for every single corner but this will allow you to you know concede less corners because i picked up the trick and i was because everybody is using my trick which is good Thank you for using my trick. Thank you for even watching the video because the video has like, I don't know, 14,000 views. So that's way more than I expected it to have in the first place. And a lot of persons are telling me that it's working for them and they're scoring more. But they're telling me that they're also conceding because uh, one thing about putting tricks online is that you're not the only one who sees them. So eventually somebody else is going to see them and they're going to use it against you. So what I've realized now is that um, I also face that problem about two weeks ago or so people were just scoring corners on me i was like how in the world you know so um i'm just gonna give you guys a quick uh brief overview of how to really you know defend against the corners and i hope that that really works for you because in my corner trick uh, i usually put the ball right here in this space right when i put the ball in that space there is basically more of my players advancing forward which causes you know or which makes it easier for me to score so i'm going to show you how to counter that because you know i want you guys to concede less so i hope that you guys really enjoy the video and actually grasp what i'm trying to say let's get into the video so i want you guys to pay attention to this replay real quick because i wanted to just show you guys how it's really done or my intentions in like the whole thing you remember that i keep talking about the space that is here because this is where the opponent is going to deliver the ball so what i usually do is that i bring at least one player especially a player with good heading to this position so as soon as um the screen comes up to the corner before they even can kick out the ball i start moving my analog stick as you can see towards this side so i'm going to show you exactly what the player does so what i want you guys to do is bring the player here into this space even right beside the keeper and then as soon as the the opponent starts to um deliver the ball or as soon as they're about to kick or as soon as the ball is delivered really what you do is that you press the sprint button that is over here well you can't see it right now but you're going to see it in the video you press the sprint button and you use the analog stick to the other direction like you're going this way what that does is that that runs that run like because keep in mind that this player or these players are running into the box basically or they have a little hopscotch or a little a little they have a little journey to run so you're trying to match that or outmatch that with your pace so you see that you have more distance and you're sprinting full-on sprinting then you have a, a higher chance of using a momentum to come and um, out the ball i actually discovered this when i was watching um harry Maguire the other day and he actually cleared the ball off a corner i was like whoa he literally just sprint from you know there and you know he won the header that way but when he's standing up he doesn't win the headers or there's a 50 50 chance that he wins the headers so uh let's just look at it let me show you what i was talking about so as you can see here vera goes over the other side right beside the keeper and as soon as as soon as ronaldino is about to kick off the ball this is vera moving the other direction now because he's going to cover the space if this guy okay this trick probably won't work if he goes straight here but by them time that you can always um defend it on your own and this trick won't work if he some way somehow goes here like who who you know takes a corner here but as long as it goes in this region vera should cover it and if vera doesn't cover it he should out jump the person who cover it which would leave it to go for a throw in but if he goes here or does a short corner then you know you just have to defend like like normal like regular but yeah so vera is going in the other direction as you can see and bam he's moving look 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 at that oh he out jump i think i don't know who that is probably that's ansu fatty but still he out jumps the person because he had the sprint advantage on him he you know he had the momentum that was going for him so now he out jumps the person yes um yes the per yet the opponent won by the ball but that's you know that's beyond the point and they didn't score but i'm just saying it you know you won the header you won the corner you just have to clean up or properly clean up defense what you guys need to understand is that um it's not always the player that you control it's not always the player that like okay let me scroll it back all right let me just go back real quick it's not always the player that you control let's look at this it's not always the player that you control so you see vera vera is not going to always be the one who's clearing the ball it's just that he's the one that's um 
uh, guarding the space. So once the ball goes there, Vera has the advantage. Anybody else right here, if the ball goes to them, they'll have a good advantage because Vera, Vera is the one that's marking the dangerous ball. Every other ball should be cleared easily because it's no threat. Because imagine if the ball comes over here, there's no way that they're going to score a header from here. But if it comes here, it's it's an easy tapping or an easy heading for them. So yeah, I hope that you guys really enjoyed that. That's that's basically what I hope it I hope I explained it properly. That's that's all. I tend to go in depth in things. I hope that you guys understood it. Yes. Now go practice it and have fun. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you guys learned something. Don't forget to drop a like down below. I'm Shark Gaming and I'm out.